Hi guys, my name is SMD, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick guide on how to extract the World of Warcraft character of your choosing, your making, into any image editing software you can think of. To do this, we're going to start off by downloading a small program called WoW Model Viewer. You can get this by going to www.wowmodelviewer.org. Once you're at the web page, you need to go to the downloads and click WoW Model Viewer. Once you're on here, you have a 32-bit and a 62-bit. The 62-bit, unfortunately, is also located in this version. It doesn't tell you, but it is in there. I've checked. So in this case, we need the 32-bit. So you'll click this, download it. Once you've downloaded it, you'll need a software like WinZip, WinRAW, 7-Zip, or any extraction software to open it. Once you've opened it, you'll create a folder. You need to put that folder anywhere you like. In my case, I've put it on my desktop. We're going to open this folder, and inside you're going to have a, an executable file called WoW Model View. We're going to open WoW Model View up, and you get this nice cool intro, and you get this. And it said, would you like to load World of Warcraft right now? This is not loading the game, guys. This isn't opening the game so you can log in or anything. This is basically asking if you're going to allow your computer to open the World of Warcraft MPQ files, which are the data files of World of Warcraft. So you want to click yes. Depending on your computer's specs it may take anywhere from 10-15 seconds all the way up to two or three minutes depending on how fast your computer is in my case it's usually about 30 seconds we're gonna wait for this to come on and we'll be able to continue okay as you can see it's now open on the left hand side here we're gonna have a section called characters we're gonna open the characters up we're gonna in this case we're gonna select a dwarf and we're gonna select a male dwarf and then what you want to do is you want to click, double click the dwarfmail.mp2 once you click it there you can see we have a picture of a dwarf and you have just like in the World of Warcraft creation screen you can change the skin color of your model by just editing and clicking across on these in the top right hand corner there are different skin colors, face types, hair colors, hairstyles, facial features and facial colors so you can edit your character to make it look like your own we're going to go straight into it and we're going to select some armor. So in this case we're just going to select a shoulder piece so I can show you how it works. So you want to click shoulder and then you want to filter out which ones you don't want. In this case we're going to put a pair of paladin shoulders on him. So I've took off all the ones I don't require because it would take longer to search. And we're going to just search for vicious. So we're just going to type in VI so it comes up with all the vicious items. And vicious gladiators scale shoulders okay there you have we have the paladin shoulders on our character now and now you want to do this for every section what I tend to do is I open up a World of Warcraft army page of the person I need the character making of and I will select the exact same items he's currently wearing into the game by using these selection points and creating that person in game on the model, model viewer so you can also, sorry for the interruption, I was thinking of what I was going to say next, so I'm going to get right to it now. So basically, there's other things you can do. You can add the tab bar on, so if you want to put your own guild tab bar on your character, you can do. Just edit the icons here to make a different one. I'll just give you an idea. You can pretty much change it. You can even put a barber's drape, that's pretty cool. So you got all different ones. You can add your own. Pretty much you can do a custom one. Loads of different things you can do with it. So the cool other thing you can do, you can click choose mount. This is pretty interesting because you can get him to ride a mount. So if you want a picture of yourself on a mount that you currently don't own and you want to know what you may look like watching it, that's pretty cool. You can there are thousands of mounts, guys. You can get them to ride. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Um <laughs> I guess that's a mountain riding my a mountain guy riding you uh... yeah you can pretty much select anything there's a puffer fish okay so yeah you can pretty much do anything you want with these you can pretty much pull everything in that oh my that is a pit lord who looks like he's pooping out a paladin yeah so two of the most important things that you need to know is I use on the top end here light uh, where it says lighting I want to change it to model lights only don't ask me why it just always comes out better second thing you want to do you want to go on view and you want to go to background color and you want to select it to pure white okay 
So the second, the, sorry, the third thing you can do, you can change what you want your model to do. So in this case, we've got the Pit Lord pretty much doing anything we want. We can get him to attack with a one-hander. We can get him look like when he dies. So say we want to take a screenshot of him dying like that. We can slow the speed down to nothing, pause it as soon as he hits the ground, and there we go. We paused it, we can look at him, we can do anything we want, we can just take a screenshot and move on. So now, I'm going to show you one I did earlier uh, that I've used before that I did with Towley. So we're going to open up Towley's character. This is an identical copy of Towley's character in all his PvP armor. The only problem I have at the moment is Towley is currently using a weapon that has a glow effect. Glow effects on taking a screenshot don't come out that well. The only two things you can do is you can make it so the glow is currently cased in the, cust uh, the customs armor or you can move it to the side like this so the outer glow is pretty much gone but then again you're looking at the outer side it doesn't look as good so what I tend to do is I'm going to remove the weapon altogether there we go now we have just Howley so we're gonna click file and we're gonna click save screenshot we're gonna save the screenshot to anywhere you like we're gonna do it on our desktop you just need to make sure that it's always JPEG so we're gonna save that as a JPEG to our desktop now what you need to do, you open up your favorite editing software, in my case that being Adobe Photoshop. And once this is opened, we'll open up that screenshot we've just saved and we'll be able to edit it. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to cut out a picture of your character within about two seconds. It is this simple. Fortunately, I'm waiting for Photoshop to load. I think it's loaded. Yep, there we go. Okay, file, open. We're going to open our screenshot, okay? And a paladin should appear. There we go. There's a paladin. So, unfortunately, the layer that it's opened up on is completely locked. So, what you need to do, in my case, I'm having to right-click, duplicating the layer that I've just made, hiding the one below it by clicking the little eye icon. I'm going to create a new layer now by clicking the little page icon next to the bin. I'm going to now color this layer by using the paint bucket tool in a different color in this case blue <gasps> oh no the paladins disappeared that's okay guys we're gonna click the layer now and we're gonna drag this layer into the middle there we go okay the blue is gone now we're gonna select the magic tool and yes guys it is actually called the magic wand tool if you hover over it here it's called magic wand tool you can either select it by clicking it or in my case I'm just gonna press W because I know the keybind and we're just gonna click anywhere in the white so there we go and as you can see that it selected the outside of the image and around the character that means anything in between the two selections is going to be edited in this case it's going to be deleted so we're going to press the delete key now and there you go that simple guys that is that simple to cut your character out your character is now completely free from the white and you can move it around do anything you want with it put it in any signature add any effects to it whatsoever it's up to you the possibilities are endless in my case I messed around earlier and I made this and I'll, that's what I made earlier using the exact same program I just showed you what you'll see is that the background you might ask how did I make that background and this is the problem guys I spent years learning how to do this I've downloaded thousands of different brushes fonts and special effects I use in my pictures and my artwork because I've used this program for so long that I've had to adapt to making different types of images. This is a very low res image that I'm showing you right now. So it's only um, 480p because I was just messing around to make something quickly so I could show you guys what it looks like. So I hope this has been in, an insight for you guys and I hope you can learn something from it. But I suggest learning how to do it by the same way I did which was download the program or buy the program whatever you prefer I don't know what you guys do but I bought mine is you know support the suppliers I went and bought mine and I've been messing around with it now for three years four different years and um, the more you mess around with it the more you learn and there are plenty of different guides and I'm hoping this guides helped you to learn how to cut a water watercraft character out and add it to any one of your backgrounds so thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video